Guys, this is Gary320 here with my overhead panel. This is the uh, center first section, the bottom section. You can see these has the lights on. Got switch, and uh, this is basically without the blue colored face plate, which uh, is going to be put on very soon. You can see this is. The back lighting plate is basically the plate just to block the back light. However, uh, some lights are seeping through. That will be fixed very soon once I place on another um, face plate. As I place on another back light piece and the face plate. This is basically 5mm foam. It's a bit bright, but. It's, oh, sorry, 3mm the front. The back is five millimeters. It's got some foam dividers which I can uh, remove, but if I need to maintain it, it's just um, lightly glued up, so that I can show you guys what it, whatever it's done. You can see the Arduino at the back. That's the Cori module down there. So you can see these are LEDs and things inside. And basically, this car actually works. Oops, hold on. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, there you go. Let's see. It's blue. The on is blue. So it's, it's a bit unstable. The current's a bit unstable because it's running on an Arduino. That's the current. So yep, uh, I'll talk more about the curry in vlog tree, uh, which I'll cover on, <laughs> uh, which I'll cover on the um, curry as well as the um, yeah, basically just the curry itself, I think. So yep, remove it from the power supply already. Don't need any more backlighting. So this is the back of the back lid plate. This is where the curries come into attachment. You can see there all the wiring and things, switches, LEDs. Now, but you might be wondering why is this a fault on curry switch? Now this is because I bought a whole bunch. I think about 200 pieces of amber LEDs and you know what they did not work they, I mean it's not that they did not work but yeah it's because the maximum current they can take is 1.5 volts and if you put that 3.3 volts from your Arduino God, I can't see it but whatever you know what a 3.3 volt is do you if you have an Arduino Yep, 3.3 volts down there. You're gonna burn up the LED. Same thing what happened to my... This this module is just built. It's finished in the afternoon, in the evening. About 5 plus or something. It's 11 something right now. It's 11.20. Now here's some photos of the landing gear module build all right so basically so this one works but the back like it's not I'm gonna send I think I want to send these LEDs back to China wherever they came from request for a refund it's it has now been what three months oh sorry it's less than three weeks since I have received it so I think I'm eligible for a refund so you can see the uh, down position if you pull this the pin comes out it's rubber band it's the springs I couldn't find a way to do spring in such a small module but probably this panel is in the wrong size at first. Let's 
see if I pull it. I'm gonna move it up. I'm gonna pack it down there. You activate the switch. Two switches in there. So yeah, basically just you can hear the sound. <laughs> so just so yeah, I guess this is all for this vlog. Uh, just an update on. In fact, this has been about a month into the building. I have my uh, main structure, my bottom structure done. So, yep. We'll see you again soon. Thank you for watching and goodbye.